Riley, and joining me next is editorial board member Steve Moore to talk about a couple Senate races that have been upended in recent days. Welcome, Steve. Hi, Jason. So let's start with Maine. Uh, Senator Olympia Snow um, uh, announces she's going to retire, and uh, that leaves uh, you know a, a safe Republican seat vulnerable. Steve, what's your reaction? You know, a lot of Republicans are very angry at uh, Olympia Snow. She's never been a favorite of conservatives anyway, but the timing of this was not good, Jason. Uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, people in Maine that I've talked to were just not prepared for this, so Republicans feel like they are uh, kind of left without a candidate right now in this crucial race. And so um, this is certainly a, a seat now, Jason, that you have to say leans pretty heavily Democrat because Maine is such a liberal state. Uh, Maine has uh, a couple of congressmen uh, who could run for this seat. The Republican bench isn't so big in Maine. Yeah, the um, I guess the media here is also going to lose one of their favorite Republicans, huh, Steve? I mean, she's she's always labeled as a you know the moderate part of a dying breed on the right, uh, but I'm sure she's sort she, she's used to this sort of treatment. You know, it's interesting on this race. You know, the uh, the liberal media has said, oh, the. This means that the moderate branch of the Republican Party is dead and so on. And I find it interesting because, of course, in Nebraska, when uh, Ben Nelson decided not to run for re-election, a conservative Democrat, people didn't say, oh, this is the end of the conservative <laughs> Democrat. <laughs> well, we're going to get we're going to get to Nebraska, <laughs> Nebraska yet. Yeah, but I want to ask you about the situation in Maine, because the state does have a Republican governor who was elected right. in 2010 on, on, on uh, the strength of the Tea Party in particular. So there is a strong Tea Party presence there, but you're skeptical that there is enough of a presence to uh, elect a Republican to replace Olympia Snow? It's a tough state. You know, there's no question about it. That that state will almost certainly go for Barack Obama in the presidential race, uh, Jason, as you know. So it just makes it very difficult for uh, for anyone who with an R next to their name to win. You mentioned the governor. Uh, he is somewhat popular, but he's also very controversial. Uh, the word is that he will not run for that seat. And so it's sort of up for grabs as to who the Republican nominee might be. And as I said, there's not a lot of chance time for people to get in the race. Uh, Steve, this touches on, an, on a long time uh, discussion on the right about moderates and, 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 and conservatives and purity in the party. Um, you know, are you better off with a liberal Republican than you are with a Democrat? Folks like Senator Jim DeMent say no, they want a more, more pure party. But in a state like Maine or a state like Massachusetts or Rhode Island, do, do Republicans just have to take what they can get? Yeah, I think so. Like I used to run a group called the Club for Growth. And we tried to run, you know, free market conservatives in conservative states. Uh, Jason, people like Jim Dement, but look, Maine is not going to uh, elect someone like Jim Dement. So yeah. you you probably need someone as well as good as you can get. Uh, that said, you know, Olympia Snow was not a, <laughs> terrifically popular with a lot of her colleagues. A lot of times, they felt she grandstanded and pulled the rug out from under them. Uh, it's interesting because she was next in line to be the powerful Senate Finance Committee chairman. And I, that's why I was sort of shocked yeah. if Republicans had taken the Senate that she would have had that perch. Yeah. Now that also is up for grabs in terms of if Republicans win, who might be the next in line to be the tax uh, chair in the Senate. Okay, let's move on to Nebraska, a pretty red state. Uh, Democrat Ben Nelson is retiring. And um, the only drama up until a few days ago was, you know, who would win the GOP primary and, and, yeah. and get the seat. Now former Senator Bob Carey has announced that he uh, is interested in running or, in fact, is going to run. Uh, and this is, you know, a couple weeks ago he had said he wasn't interested. Uh, what, what do you think changed his mind, uh, uh, Steve, and, and how will this impact that race? I don't know what changed his mind, but I will say this, that this has been a lousy week for the uh, for John <laughs> Cornyn, who's running the senatorial committee for the Republicans, because you've got Maine that was fairly safe Republican, now that looks like it's going to lean Democrat. And here's a seat, as you just said, Jason, that was heavily leaning Republican. I think with Bob Kerry, who was a popular governor, popular senator, uh, he is 68, so he's up there in age. But I think that makes this almost a toss-up, yeah. a state that looked like just a couple weeks ago, like it was... Uh, very heavily Republican, uh, almost certain to go Republican. So uh, Bob Kerry is a very moderate, cons you know, conservative Democrat, the old fashioned conservative Democrat. Yeah. He's fiscally conservative. I like him. Uh, so I think that's going to make this very competitive. 
So you're going to force the Republicans to spend some money in Nebraska, money they probably had wanted to spend elsewhere. And and I think the uh, the Republican primary uh, voters are going to be have to be have to be careful there not to um, you know nominate someone who's too conservative and 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 because you know as you said Bob Kerry is not a big left winger. Uh, they need to be careful there, don't you think? I think that's exactly right. I think Republicans need to settle on a candidate as quickly as they can uh, and really make this a race. But, you know, there again, just like we were talking about Maine, Barack Obama being on the top of the ticket being a real asset for the Democrat in that state, Barack Obama being at the top of the ticket in Nebraska yeah. is just terrible for Bob Kerry. I think right. that probably is why, if you made me choose, I think the Republicans probably will still win that race, even with a strong candidate like Bob Kerry running as a Democrat.